Hello and welcome to another video on the Grimwood Watch Modern Channel. In this video I'm going to be continuing the theme of coloured watch cases by reviewing my Triple F Blue Turtle Mod. However, before I get into that, let's do a quick wristwatch check and today I am actually wearing my Helm Dollar SKX Hulk Chameleon Mod, which is an absolutely gorgeous mod, if I do say so myself. If you haven't seen the video looking over this watch, please click the link at the top right. And if you haven't seen the review of the stock version of this watch, please Please click the one on the left. Very good videos, very good watch. But anyway, let's get back to the watch in question. So let's have a more in-depth look at this Triple F Blue Turtle mod. Now in all honesty, this mod was never meant to be. What this was meant to be was a blue and orange mod that I was going to call the Super Nemo. However, when the dial came in and the chapter ring and I put it together like loosely, it was not what I was expecting it to look like and I kind of changed direction very quickly to what we have here. So just going over a few of the specs and the parts that I've used in this watch, the movement is an NH36, which is basically the go-to movement in 90% of my builds, unless people want to go for the more uprated one, which is the NE15, but like I say, 90% of the time, it's one of these good old Winding Hagen NH36s. We then move on to that lovely 55 fathom dial from Dagza, which is, like I say, matches the case and the colour scheme absolutely perfectly. Starburst actual main colour. We then have the white indices with those lovely bits of red on the end of them and like I say it works absolutely lovely with this watch. We then come to the handset which I think is a discontinued line from Dagza as well. However like I say it, I actually bought it off one of his sales and this just came in a pack of hands that I got from him and I thought right these are going into this mod they look quite nice. So the hands themselves are obviously black with white loom the main bit you can see is actually the white loom so I quite like it it looks like the loom's floating around the dial. We then come to that lovely red second hand with the checkered flag at the end yet again I think the red white and black matches the colour scheme perfectly. The actual chapter ring is a stock SKX007 chapter ring that I just threw in there. The bezel is a one second closer shark style bezel in blue. The action of it is absolutely phenomenal and like I say it works perfectly with this case. The bezel insert is actually one of my own that I stock and this is a Amiga style um, ceramic bezel and obviously we have that lovely tape on it as well to go up to that lovely domed crystal on top which is yet again another part from one second closer this is the blue version and it's also single domed as you can see so we get a lovely distortion when you tilt the watch lovely crystal if I do say so myself. We then have the case. Now this is actually an SKX to turtle conversion case from Crystal Times and what Crystal Times have done is basically made a case that fits all the SKX modern parts which I think just opens up a whole new kind of range of possibilities for the modder. So the bezel, everything in parts wise in this watch fits in SKX However, because of this case, I can put it in a lovely turtle cushion case and it's, like you say, it just opens up so many possibilities. However, Crystal Times did a very short run of these lovely IP blue. So we'll get that lovely metallic matte IP blue case. And it's, yeah, yeah again, I bought the case and then based the mod around the case. And I think I've, I've done quite a good job at it. The only thing about this case is, if I just rub my fingers on this, as you can see, it does pick up oily marks quite readily. So you do find yourself cleaning the case quite a lot, but you'll get that with any matte finish really, because obviously any grease kind of makes it a bit glossy. So every time I wear it, I do kind of keep rubbing it through the day, and at the end of the day, before I put it in my watch cabinet, I do give it a quick rub down. However, it's only a small niggle. We then come to the crown, which is another one second closer item. And this is actually more in the style of a Gen 1 monster and I actually prefer it because it's a nice chunky crown and it's easy to use. Um, I do prefer this over any of the knurled crowns and I will recommend this to any of my um, clients. However, all of my mods I use this one on because, like I say, personal preference I like and I find it's easy to use. We then move to the case back. Now the case back is actually an original SKX007 case back which I got coated in clear coat matte black. It didn't get used on the client's project, he actually went for a clear case back so I thought right 
put it in my spares bin, I'll use it later, and obviously this mod has got that on. We then come to the actual NATO strap. This is a Zulu Diver NATO in a lovely iridescent blue and red colour scheme. Yet again, this was a strap that was on one of my other watches. It was actually on my SNA413. However, I actually toned the look of that one down by putting a nice dark blue leather strap on it. And this was yet again just in my spares bin. And I thought, right, I know the mod. This is going to go on. Now, in all honesty, I've worn this watch quite a bit, yet again, because I do it with a lot of the watches. I, I build a watch and I wear it literally constantly for a full week. And yet again, a lot of people have commented and said that's a lovely looking watch. And I'm quite getting into these coloured cases. I think it's just opened up a whole new possibility in watch modern. I think it's just putting a nice another kind of look to it, another angle to actually modern cases with just obviously going away from the standard stainless steel case or the more popular, well becoming more popular bronze cases and um, yeah it just brings a whole new added look to the whole modern kind of community. So I'm going to leave that video there, what do you think of the triple F blue turtle, do you like it, would you wear it or do you think yet yeah, again I've just gone a bit over top like I've done with my lovely chameleon hulk mod that I've done here. Or do you think it's very nice and you would wear it on a daily basis? So with that, please put your comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel along with my Facebook page and Instagram. Like I say, loads of pictures come up on them. And if any of you want to talk to us about anything watch-related, please do. I do like a natter. So as always, keep safe and I shall see you soon.